Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ray and uh, today I do have a very special uh, visitor here. Hi, thank you for having me. <laughs> yes, uh, thank you so much for coming. <laughs> so I'd like you to start by introducing yourself. Okay, so my name is Rachel, um, Rachel Nalumu, and that's my name and handle. Um, and I live here in Uganda and I have a YouTube channel as well and I'm happy to be on your channel. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for coming. Are we are name six? Do you share the same name? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, so Rachel does have a YouTube channel as well here on YouTube. So I'd like you to tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay. Uh, what do you do on your channel? Yeah, generally okay. a bit about yourself okay. and what you do on YouTube. So my channel started a while ago. It actually started as a lifestyle channel. So I did beauty, style, anything girly really. Um, this was back in like 2013. But then um, it started to kind of grow as I grew up and I kind of not lost interest in certain things. I just kind of gained more interest in other things. Um, and this year, okay, 2019, I moved or kind of semi moved to Uganda mm -hmm. and it became more about like my journey while being here and sharing the things that I find out and mm -hmm. style pretty much those are my two big things now <laughs> okay uh, yeah. yeah so I came across a Rachel's channel <laughs> yeah she has settled into Uganda and moving from Canada and uh, the main reason why she's here today I would like her to kind of tell us about this whole journey of set of growing up in one country and then going to another country and choosing to settle there. So what inspired you to come to Uganda? Yeah. You can also tell us a little bit about uh, growing in Canada. Literally, okay. your journey, just tell us everything. Okay, yeah. so <laughs> trying to think of how far back to go without like boring you guys. But um, okay. so obviously, I well, I wasn't born in Canada, but I went when I was a baby, so about like two. Mm -hmm. And so essentially, my all my life has been in Canada. But um, it was very interesting growing up as a Ugandan Canadian, and I always say that because um, in Canada, no matter how Canadian it may be, no matter how mm. Canadian I sound, mm. I still have a very Ugandan upbringing because of my parents, mm. and they're strictly Ugandan. Obviously, they grew up here; they only went there when they got older, mm. and they had us. So mm. it was very interesting. I always had like a bit of a battle between the two, mm. of being Ugandan but Canadian, and finding somewhere in between. Mm. Then I graduated university uh, in 2013 and I was just like, you know what, let me just take a solo trip. Mm -hmm. I came up with this idea where I was like, let me just go and see how things are, but I wanted to buy fabrics. I've mm -hmm. always sewn and such, so I was like, okay, let me buy fabrics, play around, see what I can do. So I started an accessories mm -hmm. line mm -hmm. and every year I'd come back, back and buy fabrics. But oh, you'd come back to Uganda. Yes, I'd come back to so Uganda. So many would come and make visits. Yeah, every year I'd make visits from 2013 and oh, then okay. I'd literally be like in Chiembe buying fabrics oh, and yes. stuff. So I've been doing that for a while. Okay. Yeah, it's nothing new to me anymore now. <laughs> yeah. So then um, I just, uh, from the 2013 visit, the first visit, I always knew I was like, I want to live here part time. So yeah. So 2013 was your first visit to Uganda? Uh, no, as an adult on my own. But oh, I came okay. when I was a baby. So when like I was younger. family trip, Christmas, yes, you yes. come to Uganda. Yeah, yeah. And then go back to Canada. Yeah, yeah. But all your education has been in Canada. Everything has been in Canada. Before that, I think I came when I was like 12. Then when my judge passed when I was like 14 or something. Mm -hmm. I didn't really like it that much. I was like, okay, it's nice. Mm -hmm. But like, I still really liked the perks of Canada. Like, I didn't want to leave that. So you said you always came back when you were younger, yes. almost, okay, not every year, but at least a good number of times. Yes, yes. So what like, really gave you the inspiration to say, I want to come and settle in Uganda? So I think it was from being graduated, grad, graduating, um, and I studied finance and economics. So I always had like a mindset of like kind of like how the money world works and like, economies and, and whatnot. And um, I just realized when I moved, I came and I was like, oh my god, Uganda is like dripping in opportunities. There's so much you can do in this Which country. Opportunities it, it, there's so them. many. Every time, every day I leave my house, even now, every day mm -hmm. I'm always like, business idea, business idea. Like, I'm going to be, I'm going to have an empire at this point. Like, I I'm feel like, like that calls for a second episode. You should tell us the business. I know, you're like, share, share. <laughs> So you felt Uganda was full of opportunities. So many Compared to Canada. Yeah. Like, like when, yeah. It's a saturated market abroad. Whereas mm -hmm. here it's like, 
virgin it's untapped there's so much you could do it's crazy so here is the crazy thing mm. ugandans leave uganda going abroad saying there are very many opportunities abroad no they're lied to because when they're there they always then seem miserable abroad are coming to africa africa is like the hottest cake yeah, right now yeah so who, who should is switch you know i think you're sold a dream here that something is better there okay, then you get yeah. there and you realize the reality yeah, yeah. whereas when you have all of that knowledge and exposure and then mm. you come here and you're like holy crap there's so many things you can do <laughs> okay. with money oh okay yeah, with, with money. capital yeah okay. so if i may ask what are you doing currently in uganda are you employed do you have a job okay, okay, apart from your youtube ch channel mm. would you tell us a bit of like because you said there are very many opportunities yeah so you're like yeah so are you like i mean you said you love fashion and yeah style. and style yeah so what are you doing with yourself right. what you be <laughs> so actually um I, I i explained this on my channel one of the early episodes of my movie to africa series mm -hmm. plug um was uh, don't move until you have some security which i had and then it fell through with covid so i had a <laughs> oh, no. yeah i had an online little gig going i was like teaching and stuff which was actually fun i thought it was so weird i was like i don't want to tell people i'm teaching and whatever but it was so cute and i had the cutest students and stuff mm -hmm. then it fell through um because of covid which mm -hmm. is fine mm -hmm. but then also before i left um i was doing consulting for businesses um with social media and marketing oh. online digital marketing and, and not the average like facebook ads but more so creating a brand so mm -hmm. i actually yeah so mm -hmm. after covid i was like let me just do that because i'm already doing it for myself mm -hmm. and i've already done it abroad mm -hmm. let me just do it here so that's kind of like what i've been growing oh, okay. um but uh my main love and everything is content creation for myself oh, okay. so, so that's what for, you're doing yeah so content creation for businesses but also for myself oh, okay yeah. so meaning people can just reach out to you and say i want to brand myself uh, how do i yes but i have certain packages so it's not just everyone and anything it's like as mm -hmm. long as you want to do social media is cool mm -hmm. uh, managing it kind of giving it a style and a, and a, a life and an essence if that makes sense yeah okay. so yeah <laughs> so that's what you do yes. you know? yeah okay. yeah interesting yeah so i want to understand okay maybe when you are a child mm -hmm. growing up in canada and then coming to uganda like what hits you immediately like the good things and the bad things about you as Uganda. a kid or as an adult as a kid first and okay. then as an adult as Good well question. like okay. what's outstanding <laughs> okay. if someone is a foreigner and they come to uganda for the first time yeah like what's that major difference that you're going to immediately notice okay so as a kid it's funny it's the same thing as a kid and as an adult mm -hmm. so as a kid for some reason like i said my mind's always been economically and like financially like turning mm -hmm. so even at the ripe age of 12 i was like wow the cost of living is so much cheaper <laughs> here like I you know. get so much stuff for way cheaper okay. <laughs> then as an okay. adult it translated in understanding that mm -hmm. um because the cost of living is um cheaper yeah. uh, lower okay, for you guys for yeah yeah us. no no but like for us who've been abroad yeah so as long as they're earning in dollars and spending yeah, yeah. shillings it's mm. cheaper um and then i was like okay the quality of life that i can have is a lot better than uh, me doing exactly what i'm doing here but in canada so like if oh. i can get a better life doing the same thing i might as well just be <laughs> what do you mean exactly by the quality of life so in terms of a the, the type of food that we eat here oh, okay. is way better okay way better for you long term mm -hmm. obviously mm -hmm. um it tastes better <laughs> so you're able to get like all the fresh food fresh from the market. foods and everything exactly yeah. mm -hmm. um because things are cheaper mm -hmm. quote unquote um mm -hmm. not everything not cars or, or stuff like that mm -hmm. but like your housing mm -hmm. and things like and yeah essentially like housing mm -hmm most everyday purchases that aren't inflated like insanely yes. um are are cheaper so just little little things it's mm. my expenses are a lot less oh, every okay. month being here than abroad than in yeah. Canada. yeah okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. <laughs> so my next question is you just tapped into something very interesting you said the cost of living is cheaper mm. and the housing is cheaper as well yes and i've seen you do some videos about yes. showing properties <laughs> like you can get uh, this house nice one at $70,000 yeah, yes. like tell us a little bit more is it a bit easier for someone coming from the US or Canada to purchase a house 
could you even know the you could also take them through the process of purchasing one okay so i have how to make sure they don't get scammed. right right okay so i'm still yeah. in the process of doing more videos around that so yes. i don't have all that knowledge yet but mm -hmm. i have a couple of meetings to figure that out soon hi guys i just wanted to chip in a little bit so when you want to buy property in uganda a house a piece of land or anything it's best to go through a lawyer get a law firm that you can trust or get one that maybe a friend has recommended for you and use them to double check for you like they do for you the groundwork to make sure that the seller is legit uh, what you're buying is legit no one owns it already make sure they give you the proper land title according to the laws of uganda they explain for you the type of the land you know and things like that so that's the best advice i would give anyone because not only foreigners get scammed even ugandas get scammed by their fellow ugandans but if you guys like me to do a video on how to like acquire property in uganda if you want me to invite a lawyer drop a comment because i have a number of friends who are lawyers and i would just ask any of them to come and talk to us you can just uh, let me know in the comments if that video would be interesting and i would gladly do it thank you um but i do know just generally in terms of the actual dollar and mm -hmm. how much you're spending it's significantly less yeah. than uh, and okay keep in mind since some people did remind me of this in the comments mm -hmm. depending on where you live in the world mm -hmm. so like in the u.s if you're in the north of the u.s versus the south there's mm -hmm. already a significant difference in pricing mm -hmm. you can get a lot more in the south and that might be more relatable to here and okay. or not relatable to here sorry people mm -hmm. might be more shocked when they're watching my videos who mm -hmm. are more used to like living in the south of america mm -hmm. and not south america but southern part of america like mm -hmm. the floridas and stuff and be like oh this is expensive mm -hmm. but then yeah but then for me who lives mm -hmm. outside of like toronto area mm -hmm. and everything you're not finding a house it's hard to find a house mm -hmm. that's even less than half a million like wow. has just under a million is the average a million is an average exactly so i'm like here showing houses for a hundred thousand like come through and people are like what i know but so, it depends on wow. who you are and where you live exactly yeah, yeah. so it's going to say a hundred thousand dollars is quite a lot of money for a gandan you know, for a ugandan that kind of money. yes but for us, if you've made that money abroad mm -hmm. and you're coming in it becomes way cheaper yeah yeah and you're able to get like a very nice house, house here yeah a hundred thousand dollars yeah so you should definitely check out her channel <laughs> yes, if you're interested in finding out like nice houses around kampala properties yeah she does things like cars that. everything yeah, i'm just cars. throwing it land <laughs> whatever it is that you need to know about being here yeah I'll hook you up. <laughs> so the other thing you've not fully exhausted it i would like you to compare you know uh, growing up in canada and growing up in uganda how would you compare the two countries like those major differences yeah when you're growing up did you experience any racism mm -hmm. has it happened to you in uganda do yes. you feel more comfortable in uganda ah, tell, like tell us question. about that that's area okay yeah <laughs> so um they're so different okay. there's pros and cons on both ends and actually something that now the older i get and the more i'm like okay i want to have kids at some point mm. um i'm like i don't know where they will fall i know mm. because i want to be here they never leave inevitably they'll live here but mm. in terms of growing up i'm mm. like there's so many things that i'm so grateful that i experienced and got to see growing abroad but then I feel like I missed out on here and most of it was more so culture oh, culture yeah. language and stuff like that but I think you could still supplement that and still have your kids abroad mm. um, but and manners little things that I don't think we generally <laughs> understand abroad <laughs> and I think they do matter <laughs> they do they matter so much yeah. that's why like there's so many things at my big age now I'm learning it's like okay mm -hmm. no like that's not proper manners, Rachel. I'm like, wow, didn't know. <laughs> know yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but um, one thing that I'll definitely say in terms of your question with racism, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I experienced that growing up. I actually did a video on that as well. Um, but most of it was discrimination from people who look like me. Um, so oh, really? more, more of discrimination than racism. I think oh, okay. I did, I definitely experienced racism. I think to me, it just, I didn't care. Not oh, that I didn't, didn't care. care. You didn't pay attention. I just didn't pay attention. Okay. Whereas when it came from people who looked like me, mm. I was like, what? what? Like, we're the same. Like, why would you even yeah. come for me? It's weird. Mm. 
And then I feel like I'm having some PTSD of that in Uganda with people being like, oh, Muzungu, like, da -da -da, like little things like that. People call you Muzungu because of how I speak. Yeah. Oh, yes, your accent. Yeah, my okay. accent. And then to me, I'm like, that is so freaking rude. Like, I don't even think people understand how rude it is to say that. But I'm like, I can't say anything of my privilege. I'll just leave it alone. I'm like, it's whatever. So the thing is. Okay, like yes, your accent doesn't yeah. sound Ugandan at all. I you can tell the difference in your accent. Yeah, but uh, yeah, but people shouldn't tell you Muzungu. They should just say you have a Muzungu accent. That's yeah, that's okay. Like mm. or but you sound white because the people used to say that to me growing mm. up because I grew up in a suburb, so it was all white area. Mm. So I don't sound like a typical black person would mm. from America or like Canada, but mm. like America or Canada. Mm. And I used to get made fun of for that. So it's like re going through going no, through that all over again now yeah. at my age and being like yeah. okay let me deal with like it internally <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah but generally like are you loving uganda oh i what love are you me. enjoying the most <laughs> what should make someone watching want to come to uganda yeah um i absolutely love uganda i keep selling it to everyone i'm like come okay. through with preparation though okay. i think i always tell people like take some time to keep visiting mm. come for longer periods of time don't just come for like two weeks or something mm. and then make your move um mm. i feel like that was an easier transition for me mm. um but I, yeah like i said i love my quality of life the best like i feel like i can do and be everything I've wanted to be and do everything I want I want to do in Uganda, in Uganda versus Canada yeah oh, okay. for sure so you talked about family mm -hmm. would you would you oh I don't want to ask if you no 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 go are ahead are you okay to talk about yeah you yeah, yeah. it's okay, okay. <laughs> if I'm not I'll tell you I'll just be like yeah it's okay. okay so in terms of dating mm -hmm. if you've dated a bit in Uganda how would you compare it how would you compare dating in Uganda yeah. and dating in Canada? This is such a good question because I haven't dated in Uganda. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have yet to actually date in Uganda. Okay. I'm not against it. I, okay, I was against it in the beginning. But I'm not against it now. Um, and it hasn't happened. But mm -hmm. I can't compare. But maybe based off of Your my friend's, friends' experiences. Um, that I think there's, like I said, pros and cons to both. Yeah, I feel like there's more of... Um, like a chivalrous culture here than there is abroad mm -hmm. but which i that's something i appreciate personally for myself so i was like i see with my friends i'm like okay i like that I, like i could not vibe with that mm -hmm. um but there's a lot of things that are socially acceptable here that are absolutely not abroad. like what like what <laughs> just behaviors of men and such oh, just, okay yeah, that's, that's, i'll leave it at that yeah so Very there's well. always there's a <laughs> but you're still open to dating in uganda or dating anywhere um, yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as it c they can take me as me, I'm not changing. So, as long as okay, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> so we are almost uh, winding up. Have you been to any other countries apart from Uganda? Any yes. other ca African countries that you visited? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to mention them like when I was older. So, mm -hmm. South Africa, but I didn't really experience much of it. I was only there for like a short period of time. So, mm -hmm. it was like in and out kind of mm -hmm. thing. Um, Ghana, I went. In December. Oh yes. Yeah. You. I didn't watch your Ghana vlog. Yeah, but, I, but yeah. I saw you be like, oh, I'm going to Ghana. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> How is it in Ghana? I know, like, very many Ghanaian YouTubers just yeah. on YouTube, oh, not personally. Okay, okay. Yeah. Ooh, tell me about them after. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> so I actually really liked Ghana. I just felt like I didn't like the weather. It oh, reminded okay. me too much of Canada. Like when it gets hot in Canada, oh, you can't mm -hmm. go outside. It's so hot. It's too mm. humid, you can't breathe. Mm -hmm. But in Kampala, or in Uganda, it gets hot, but you can still be outside and move. So oh, okay. that was one thing. Um, I felt, I loved Ghana. Like, I felt okay. like it was like, where Uganda is headed in maybe like five years. Just mm -hmm. more to do, mm. more, um, nicer restaurants nicer places that kind it's of nicer stuff nicer than Uganda yeah what? we have they have way more like classy restaurants <laughs> oh, cute okay, things okay. yeah that's like my kind of thing okay so I like, oh I couldn't we couldn't even see all the things whereas if you're in Uganda you can see and go everywhere in one mm. visit and you, you've seen so it. Ghana has a lot Ghana has a lot oh, yeah okay, yeah um and the people I felt like they're kind of similar to Ugandans like, like very friendly yeah very friendly I, I thought they would be like a little bit more aggressive or whatever given like West the African, West African like, stereotypes that, that a bit, a yeah, bit, yeah, yeah. But I also had a lot of Ghanaian friends in university, mm. and they were 
very similar to what I found there. So I was like, okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> I can vibe with Ghana. <laughs> okay, interesting. Yeah. So we're almost concluding. Mm -hmm. If someone wants to come to Africa, let's say any country, mm -hmm. and they've grown up in the diaspora like you, they could be black, mm -hmm. or they could be white, or maybe they just want to visit. Right. If anyone wants to settle in Africa, but I've been grown up in Africa, what advice are you going to have for them? Okay. Like a few things they just need to have in place. Right. Yeah. So before they come. Um, yeah. I would definitely say make sure you come with your finances situated. That's okay. number one. That's always my number one. Yeah. Whether or not if you, if you follow it or COVID hits again for the second time, yes. like in my case, um, yes. that sucks. But de definitely make sure you have that all situated. Um, and I, like I said, recommend people to come Come and feel or test out wherever it is you're living before you kind of make oh, okay. that plunge. Yeah, just that's so that you, true. yeah, just because yeah, you understand before the you culture. Make that final decision. Yeah, yeah, because you don't want to just come with your ways and you're like, hey, I'm here, but you mm -hmm. need to acclimatize to like where you're gonna be. Okay. So that's one thing as well, and uh, just have fun with it. Like, literally, roll with it. Mm -hmm. There's, like I said, there's so many opportunities, so be open-minded while you're here. You might come and be like, I'm doing this, and might end up starting doing something else. Like, just come being open-minded, but with savings. <laughs> okay, so if I may ask uh, about the answer that you've given us, mm -hmm. you do have friends and family in Uganda. Yes, yeah. So oh, do you think yes. it is a bit easier for you because you have, like, people and that work. to associate with? Yeah, definitely. Don't you think it would be more difficult for someone who doesn't know anyone? Well, that's what I was saying come and get acclimatized before you kind of just jump into it mm -hmm. so coming granted my friends really were my parents kids friends like it's like we all had known each other or seen each other from my visits and such mm -hmm. so because of my previous visits and becoming friends with these people mm -hmm. who are not my friends um that's how i ended up having a network essentially okay. so i do know a lot of people abroad who are in the same situations that they know parents, friends, but they're not actually friends with them. Okay. So they didn't actually grow and have a network and get to know people and whatever. So to them, to come here would be literally to just throw somebody in water and be yeah. like, okay, go and swim. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas yeah. for me, I, I was very cautious. I was like, no, I do want to be here. So yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> so thank you so much. Oh, thanks Rachel. for having me. This is fun. <laughs> yeah, I thank you so much, guys, for watching. Please uh, check out Rachel's YouTube channel. I'm going to put the link to her channel in the description. Uh, she has amazing content. I, should, I like your videos because your editing is good. Oh, like you thank just do you. It so I've been well. trying. I've been trying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I've watched a good number of her videos and they're quite uh, really nice. So make sure you check out her channel. I drop a comment as well. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs>